Okay then, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. There we go. Hello, hello, and good evening. It is the 24th of July, 2023, and tonight we're going to work a little bit on the animation that we're going to be uh, broadcasting while we do K Kirby and the Forgotten Land. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're still setting up on our end for a little uh, for a little while longer not too much longer but just a little while so while we do indeed finish getting ready please get yourself a drink get yourself a snack get yourself comfortable i will leave you with the music that plays in the stray sheep from Catherine. and uh yeah i'll see you after the break Hello, hello, and good evening, everybody. My lads, lasses, non-binary compasses. I hope you're doing very well tonight. Captain Stealthy79 on the mic. And, uh, yeah, as I said before, we're going to be working on the animation for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It's a project that needs doing. And to be quite honest, since I've got nothing else planned for Monday night, I thought I might as well kill two stones with one bird. Yes, Star Raptor is a thing and knows close combat. So, uh, yeah, I figured why not do this with a little bit of stream time behind it. But how is everybody? How is everybody? I can already see Bex in the chat. Hello, hello, and good evening. All right then, before we get on with uh, before we get on with everything tonight, let's uh, let's drop a link to our Discord server in the chat below. So if you want to keep up to date, we're going on behind the scenes, new emotes, new animations. When we go live and what with, along with interacting with an amazing community, you know exactly where to find us. I wanted to sub, but PayPal won't let me. Stupid freaking PayPal. Ah, oh, that's a... Shame to hear that, Bex, but uh, just you being here means uh, just you being here means a lot. Right then, so you can see the same screen that I can, and you can even see my mouse cursor. Hello. <laughs> that spectacle in the corner is—it's uh, just there as a little bit of uh, decorative fluff, basically. <sighs> so. As you can see, I'm working on, like, the fur, uh, well, I, a variation, effectively, of <clears throat> when you become Carby for the first time. I've already got the car, I've already got, uh, I've already got the Spectre. Now, you may be thinking, isn't the Spectre usually dressed up for, uh, you know, the character that they're portraying, whether that was Ike, whether that was Cloud, etc., and... Technically, you're right, but look at the Spector shoes. Those are Kirby-based shoes. Look, Kirby is kind of naked anyway. There's not really a whole lot you can do. There's really not a whole lot you can do. 
and also i don't know if you can tell i am utterly fucking terrible at drawing vehicles so i basically made an overgrown toy car <laughs> minus the big clockwork key in the background but uh, yeah i basically just made a great big oversized toy car and as you can see here i've got all the different layers that's the light that's the door that's the door handle that's the boot handle i know i spelled window incorrectly but there it is on the side both the wheels now the uh, now the thing is we're not going to be you know we're not going to be moving individual parts of the car so what we're going to do is we're going to make a quick layer copy and paste hide that and then we are going to just merge this whole group together like so so we've still got the original and all the different uh, all the different uh, layers and everything just in case we do want to uh, fix something uh but but uh, yeah that's now we've now got one flat layer of car ready to go makes it nice and easy to str to stretch squash and to uh, just move about hopefully i'm not going to get too many crashes god i don't want you guys seeing my best desktop background it'd be scandalous <laughs> i'm joking of course or am i okay then we've got uh, then we've got the spector now we're going to have a different, now with the arms, we're going to do a couple of different things with the arms. So I've made copies of all, I've made copies of the arms and then I've, uh, you know, given them a bit of an elbow bend just, uh, just underneath the, uh, just underneath, sorry, just above. That's why I got my words mixed up. I was saying the wrong thing, just above the markings. So that'll be a bit later on in the animation, same as uh, having the the front of the shoe exposed but for the first time we're gonna we're gonna give our spectre an eyebrow so as you can as you can already tell he is uh he's having the time of his life with this one <clears throat> it's amazing isn't it how one straight line can genuinely make all the difference in the world Because you go from such a happy, neutral expression to very unimpressed. It's amazing what a singular straight line can do. But so far, we're going to keep it neutral. We'll keep it neutral. Because that eyebrow is going to come into play when... This little fellow is introduced. My very own Waddle D. My own, my very own little Waddle Dee. Look at him, isn't, isn't he adorable? I mean, obviously he'll be zoomed out a little bit so he'll look even better, but uh, yeah, isn't he just adorable, chat? I must admit, I was quite tempted to, uh, I was genuinely quite tempted to uh, do a little Waddle Dee animation just, uh, you know, for something like, uh, maybe raid? Maybe I should do a Waddle Dee animation for raiding. Hmm. But that'll be in the future. right so what's the idea okay chat that's that's a good question what is going to be the idea between for this entire animation well firstly we're going to get the cloud over we're going to get the cloud over to here during which time the waddle dee will be inhaled by the spector over here we're then going to turn the spector slightly around so he spits the waddle swat, spits the waddle dee into the background shrinking him down into a little into a little speck at which point we then exchange our cloud with one with a great big hole in the middle which will then just keep on moving by which time the spector will try inhaling again only to get this thing 
smacking him pretty much, well, in the mouth and in the face, rocketing him backwards, and having him and having the Spectre walk back to where he began. It does sound a little complicated, and I'm not gonna lie, it kind of is, but we'll, uh, we'll get there when we get there. Okay, so here we go, back to frame zero. So, let's move the merged car out the way. Okay, because we really don't need that yet. We exchanged Cloud with a one-winged silverhead hottie. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Though I will admit, the, the starting super frame is still there. Oh, that's right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I almost forgot about that one. Thank you. Okay, so let's shift our workspace over to animation. Okay, I don't know why that suddenly started us off at frame 258. Go all the way back to the beginning. Right. Okay, the thing is, we're not going to work on cloud just yet. We're not going to work on the background. How was your day and how are you? Very kind of you to ask, Bex. Um, my day was good. My day was good. And, um... Yeah, day was good, and um, I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just having a nice chill hour. Yeah, just having a nice chill hour or so. You know, working on this animation because it does need to get done. Okay, this animation needs to get done because uh, I'm hoping that in the next couple of weeks I'm able to start Kirby in the Forgotten Land because. Uh, that would make me insanely happy because uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land was bought for me by uh, by VL the last time I was over in Belgium. She has been dying for me to play this goddamn game for a while now. I've always said I wanted to do it on stream, but I've always, always said that I wanted an animation to come along with it. And this is it. So I will be working on this off stream as well, but I thought I'd get, you know, the first few frames sorted done on the stream you know just uh you know just have a nice time with people okay so let's start off with body all the way here frame zero right. there you go so we begin by making a duplicate frame our first keyframe which is the body being in this position here. Now we're going to animate this for every three frames. So we go zero, one, two, three. And then you can always tell which frame number you're on by looking at this little number down here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a very nice and simple just jaw open and close just so he gets... Just so he gets, uh, just so he gets himself psyched up and ready to go. What we're going to do is going to create a duplicate frame of our first frame, and then bring it over to six. So, to show you, if we just highlight those three frames right there. Now, obviously, we'll need to move the ear, the eyes, the arm, right, and the arms will swing side to side. But you can see where I'm coming from. It's just a really nice, quick easy way to start the stri start the uh, start the animation cap a dog a cat a capybara or a penguin well the internet has ruined me okay and as much as capybaras are cute it's the second half of that name it's like i don't know if i can get away with saying i like that particular that particular kink uh, without it getting uh, made completely out of context, uh, I've always been a we've always been a dog family in in, the, in my immediate knit a close knit thing and a uh, close knit family and um, VL has has a load of dogs that I also really like but at the same time she also had the most wonderful cat. But then again, I am a big King DDD fan, so I'm just gonna say all. I'm just gonna say all. All of them are all of them are good and bad in their own ways. 
We then make a duplicate of the open mouth, bring it over to frame number nine. And then we'll make a duplicate of the closed jaw once again and bring it over to frame 12. So frame zero to 12 will be nam, 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 nam. <laughs> What do you mean? No, no, no. You have to decide one. <sighs> All right, fine. Simply because of my love of the Kirby series. Okay, simply because of the love of the Kirby series. Penguin. Okay, so here we go. This is now the ear, which is the uh, raised hole. It's like the raised hole on the side of a spectral on both of spectral's heads. Wind can go in and blow around and stuff, but they do technically operate as ears. Technically, they do. Okay, now what we do is we just move that up with that. So it just needs a little more of an adjustment. Okay, that should do it. Just needs a little, as I say, slight adjustments. And the, and the best thing about the Spector is the Spector is a goddamn cartoon character. You can effectively like, cheese the system a touch. You can cheese the system a touch. And there we go. So now if we do this. The ear moves with the head. All right, Penguin, it is. Okay. I trust you, Bex. Don't let me down. Uh, Scavenger, hello, hello, and good, good evening. Ooh, Art. Hi, Cap. Hello. I don't know I don't know if you could... The thing is, okay, and I might be a little bit harsh on myself, I really don't know if you can call my childish doodles Art. I mean, I like them. But, uh, again, I'm really not sure if, uh, you know, people would consider it art or even, uh, well, I know you can't consider it high art, but uh, I still don't know if people would consider it art. But still, thank you very much. I will be lurking. Well, then, I hope, I hope that this is a relaxing stream for you. I must admit, there is a part of me that kind of wants to try and do an ASMR, an ASMR-esque sort of thing. I would love to do an ASMR reading, but I don't know if my voice is uh, correct for that. Even the tastiest foods can be considered art. True, very true. My uh, VL considers my pizza art. <laughs> okay, so we've so so we've got the first twelve frames done. Which is just a very nice, simple jaw movement. We now we need to work on the eyes. Okay, we now need to work on the eyes. So. Just follow the eyes up. That's all you gotta do. The same with the left one. So, again, you just duplicate the frame. On frame zero, so that everything has got a base to work from. And then, as I said, we're animating on threes for the Spectral. Don't be too harsh on yourself, please. You're doing well, and you're doing it on your own. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I had the animation lessons from VL. I had animation lessons from VL, but, uh, yeah. Mm, decaffeinated coffee, but... But yeah, I had I had the uh, I had the animation lessons from VL, but by lessons I mean she basically taught me how um, she basically taught me how Critter works because that's the that's the art program pro art program I use for uh, all of my uh, animations, emotes, etc. Uh, is Critter. It's it's free. You can always make a donation, which uh, I intend to do. Uh, but it is free to use. It's got 
it's got layering it has uh, basically all the tools you could ever you could basically need outside of something that's like uh, supremely supremely specialized Also, Bex, I, uh, I, I need to send you a DM on, on Discord later because um, I accidentally, uh, ought to. I pulled a really nice card for you, but do you want it as a surprise when I send you the Giacomo, or do you want to see it first? Right, but here we but let's get back to the matter in hand. So here we are. We're working on the left eye right now. So on frame three, we just need to move it up to come inside with And as I said, with the Spector being a cartoon character, we can absolutely have have his eyes go a little bit go a little go a little bit dopey. Just so long as we bring it all back to the neutral on frame zero. Because we just repeat this for a couple of a couple of cycles, which brings us up to our 12 frames. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you. Uh, let's have a look. See, don't be too hard. Oh, I most likely forgot about it anyway, as I'm suffering from goldfish brain disease. But do as you wish. That's your decision. But it reminds me of giving you my address sometimes. Yes, we absolutely we do need to sort that out. We do need to sort that out. But okay, then I will leave it as a surprise for you. I will leave it as a surprise. I think you'll. I think you are going to like it though. Okay, so let's have a quick look, see, and see how that looks. Remember, the only things we've done so far are both the eyes, the top of the head, and the ear. And this is this is the Spector basically, like, psyching himself up, loosening the jaw, ready to Kirby inhale whatever is in front of him. And as I said, the Spector is a uh, malleable creature. As well as a cartoon character, so you can basically make make uh, make his eyes go a bit dopey and uh, whatever it is that you want him to do, but or whatever they want to do. So it actually depends on the spectral. Kind of like Goombas, uh, but unlike but but yeah, unlike Goombas, uh, there's no real way of distinguishing male male female non-binary gender fluid spectors. It's just you know it's whatever the fuck they feel like at the time. When I said malleable, I meant truly malleable. But yeah, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I actually don't mind that. Right. Now to, now to do the bottom of the jaw. Ah! Uh, okay, Spectral without a bottom jaw looks kind of cursed. It does. But okay. But what we're going to do here is something a little bit different. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the spectral really loosening off the jaw. So we're going to have it tilt. We're going to have it tilt to the right first. Return to neutral on the sixth frame. But then on the ninth frame, we're going to have it tilt to the left a little bit as it comes down. Okay, and yet again, as I always say, you bring it back to the neutral and you run a test. And there you go. He's l they are loosening up that jaw, ready to go. Okay. And I know it doesn't seem like a whole lot. Okay, I genuinely know it doesn't seem like a whole lot. But... 
the golden rule when it comes to animation or art of any kind is that you save it regularly. Uh, that was before frame one. And, and I know I've spelled beginning wrong, but, you know, I didn't spell a slur, so I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't spell slow, so it, that's fine. I just can't spell most of the time. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just repeat that. Okay. So we just copy the keyframes. We go along to number 15. And then we just paste. And then we just do the same again for all of the keyframes we have got so far. Ooh, I might have made a mistake here. Okay, but this is... Okay, so if I go 12 and then 15... Ah, okay, I see. I see what I've done. I should have been... I should have grabbed it from here. Yeah, because if we look here, 12, 15, the exact same. It's just going to be... So if I... So, just to show you what I mean. You see that long gap right there? Or does that work? Huh. That actually might work. Let me try that, actually. And it's as Bob Ross said. Happy little accident. Okay, go to bit frame 28, and then you just what, run it. Hmm. I'll be honest, I don't think I mind that all that much. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do then is... Have you heard of the conspiracies around Bob Ross and his artworks? No, I've not. I have not heard the conspiracies. What are said conspiracies? Oh, I'm going. Okay, okay. Keep me, keep me on the edge of my seat, then. Why don't you? I like you. Are. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much, scavenger. Okay then. So, I've saved this as an alt. Okay, I've genuinely saved this as an alt. Okay, simply because I'm... I won't say I'm unconvinced. But just that gap... Uh, just that, like, one, two, three, four, five... Just that five-frame gap between 12 and... Uh, between 12 and 18. I mean, it... it, 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 it it looks okay, to be totally honest. It doesn't actually look terrible. Just that extra, just that extra pause, just to loosen himself up, and then, oh, I think I might know what to do with that gap. This is the unfortunate thing about animation for me, because sometimes I can be ridiculously spontaneous. Is this art for a very specific game you're going to play? Yep, I know it. I know it may not. Uh, I know it may not be very, very obvious. But if I was to stick that little guy in front of the screen, does that give you a clue? Oh shit! Said you said you were going to look. Sorry. Okay, it's a waddle dee. It's a waddle dee. Basically, I've put a waddle dee in front of the screen. 
That's exactly it. This is for Kirby. It is indeed for Kirby. It's just that uh, the it's just that the thing is, uh, Spectors are not exactly known for uh, their inhaling capability. <laughs> So he's got to loosen up that jaw first. Got to loosen up those arms and that jaw. Otherwise he'll pull something. Okay then. So what I'm thinking... So what I'm thinking, Jack, is that... Uh, frame 0, 3, 6, 9, and 12... Swinging it from side to side, and then through 12, 15, and then on 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then back to 18. Well, no, uh, about 17, it should be back to uh, approximately neutral, and then we can just copy and paste it with the 18. But yeah, I think we should, I think we'll be able to squeeze in a quick rotation of the arm. Okay. I'm hoping we're able to. Five frames is not a lot in this sort of bit, in this sort of thing, but uh, we can always give it a try. Okay, so again, we've put everything back to neutral. We've made a duplicate frame, so this is the frame that the program will now work on whenever we're animating it. So. It's a very minor little adjustment, but taken in the context, you can definitely see how it is going to work. Okay, we now make a duplicate frame and bring it over to six. Ooh, what the hell just happened there? Uh, okay, that's a problem. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you. Wait, what the hell? The problem is, if I remove keyframe, uh, that's going to disappear. Oh dear. Right, okay, so. Right, so. That's the problem. That's the only problem with this thing. It's a bit, little bit finicky and picky. Okay, now jump over to nine. So now if we take that little scrap right there and there you go that left arm is now shamoving okay it's a, it looks about as it looks about as uh, smooth as rubbing your backside with sandpaper but eh, it's doing it the job it's doing the job Okay, so now, the... back, neutral, hmm. maybe what we do here then is animate on the two. This is just to get a, gen a rough, very general idea of what... Oh, I need to need to do more. So what I can do is I can do all of this down.
keep on spinning. Oops. <laughs> Wrong command entirely. And then we can copy this one. Bring it over here. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Hmm. It does look... To be quite honest, that does kind of look like it's a clockwork toy that's just broken down. Uh, name the app you use to make this artwork. It is Critter. As you can see, right up here. K-R-I-T-A. It's Critter. It's free to download, free to use. Uh, but if you can throw a donation that way, please do. The conspiracy around the artwork are far bizarre. Is that they say the fields, mountains, forests, and lakes he used to draw are places where he buried his victims. Excuse me? I don't believe any of it since conspiracy and true crime fans are something else. I mean, yeah, I don't believe it either, but goddamn. Right, so where were we? Oh, that's right. I don't know, does that work? Or am I thinking just too ambitious? To be fair, chat, I might just be thinking way too ambitiously, and I should just have the arms swing side to side. Now. Nah. Okay, I'm gonna keep that as an alt, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go back. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Okay, let's open up an older version. This is before I was doing all of the arm stuff, but again, this is the reason why you do so. Okay. So we're actually going to do something a little bit different. Okay, we're just going to copy those keyframes, bring them over to 15, paste them down. So now... So, go back. Yeah, there you go. You don't. Now we don't. Have, now we don't have the gap. We now don't have that gap. Yeah, just continual chatters, and I'm happy with that. So we're going to keep this one, I think. Right. So I'm not going to make the same mistake. Okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake. No. I will admit it was it was a bit quick. Okay, and it did look like the Spectre was made out of clockwork and it suddenly hit a fucking gear shift, but... Uh... Holy hell, that's 40 minutes already? But, uh, but then again, we had a couple minutes at the beginning, so... You know, it's not... We haven't... Well, yes, the stream's been live for 40 minutes, but we've not been streaming for 40 minutes. Right. But yeah, you are absolutely correct. Uh, for, can, for anyone wondering what Apple Toolcap uses, it's called Critter. If I read that correctly, it is. It's free to download, but you can donate to the people behind Critter, bot mod, doing the job. But thank you very much, Bex. And I highly, highly recommend that you do indeed donate to Critter, because uh, this program has been used to make everything that you've seen on the channel. Every emote, every animation, it has been made to use it. Though I will admit, um, though I will admit, um, 
crit how do I how do I phrase this? I didn't know that you could do animations in Critter initially. So what I ended up doing was saving uh, so many pictures um, of animations, including the Bioshock one. You know how detailed the Bioshock one was? Yeah, the Bioshock one, um, basically I had to save every single frame as an individual picture. I then input it into uh, a vid piece of video editing software and then squash them all together. <laughs> To make an mp4 not a gif and if you're thinking wait that must that sounded like absolute hell oh yeah oh it was but it was a good learning experience that's the thing it was a good learning experience it was learning okay so you did it one way and technically it worked but you can make gifs in critter without a problem and you can also uh and you can also animate in the damn program instead of having to, you know, save everything as an individual JPEG, stick it in video editing software, and then reduce down the timer to like 0.5 seconds or something. It, uh, it was not good. But it, was, but it was how I did my first couple of animations. It was how I did my first couple of animations. Um, Pikmin. It was the original Pikmin. I am going to be redoing a Pikmin animation, to be quite honest. Before, before October, so throughout the entirety of August, I am going to be doing a brand new Pikmin animation. And it's going to be one that represents the entire series. So we're going to have the Spector dressed as Captain Olimar again. A couple of Pikmin by his side. And then in the background, we're going to have a couple of Pikmin enemies run backwards and forwards with like groups of Pikmin in front and behind them. It's, it should be fun. It should be fun. But okay, back to the matter at hand. Now that I've had a nice little, uh, nice little break. So we create a duplicate frame on frame zero, so the program knows exactly where it's working from. So again, since I've now not left a, a significant gap between frames twelve and eighteen, and instead just continued the uh, jaw chattering and loosening, this is just going to be nice and easy. And as I said, we're just, we are animating on every three frames. Hey chat, when, you, when you're looking to inhale a car, you need to stretch. Okay, so let's see how this looks. There you go, look at that little chatterbug. As I said, when you're looking to inhale a car, you need to stretch it. <laughs> and then we can just copy, paste, duplicate frames all over the place. And lastly... Neutral. Always end on that neutral. Always end on that neutral. So, frame 0 to 24 looks like... As I said, what a little, what a little happy guy. I think the first... If I remember correctly, what was the first big animation I did? Let me just jump into the animation archive. Now, what was the first, like, the genuinely, like, first big animation I actually completed in Critter? It could have been Cuphead? No, because Warrior Land Shake Dimension was before that. Yeah, 22nd of the 6th. Drop the 10th. I mean, obviously, I did my uh, obviously I did the small animations like uh, the subscription dance, the bit donation, uh, the, doing the TCG, Junior and Key Rule. I must admit, that must that is going to be something we're going to be looking at. That is going to be something we're going to be looking at. 
you know, whenever I want a nice quiet stream, we can uh, we can work on the next Spector Smash Fighter. Uh, the Spector Follower Dance. Oh, that was well, it wasn't a big one, but it was the first first uh, first one they did in uh, in Twitter. Okay, I think Warrior Land Shake Dimension might have been the first big, might have been the first like big big animation that we that I did. It is genuinely amazing to go back and look at. Um, it is genuinely amazing to go back and look at some of the animations I did, the slower process I had for them, and then, you know, even though this is not, you know, buttery smooth by any stretch of the imagination, it's still fun. It is still genuinely, genuinely fun. Okay, next up we need to do the right arm. So. Again, frame zero, we create the duplicate frame. This is now the base for which the program will work. So, over to frame three. That looks better. Then we create a duplicate frame, stick it on six, as it needs to be repeated. And then what we're going to do is we're going to really swing this arm back. And then we'll create the duplicate frame again for 12. Okay, let's see how that looks. Looks okay to me. So then we just come over here, create more duplicate frames. Team, then 21 gets this one. I genuinely thought it was about to crash then. Let me duplicate frame that one for 24. Okay, let's have a look-see. Zooming out a bit because that's what you're going to be seeing. I think that looks okay so far. I think that looks okay so far. I mean, obviously, as you zoom in, you're, you're going to catch a few more, uh, you know, cracks in the stonework, but... Uh, you know, that'll be about 66% is what you're going to be seeing in terms of the screen size, if not a little bit smaller than that. But uh, yeah, you go on though. So for the first 24 frames of this particular part of the animation, it's looking okay. And I'm happy with it. I mean, what do you think, guys? I must have, must admit, I also forgot to, uh, I also forgot to turn off the uh, Discord notification noise. I do apologize. To me, it looks great, and Spectral looks happy. Indeed, he does. Well, he looks like he's limbering up. I hope, it, I hope it looks like he's kind of limbering up, really, because, uh, you know, you saw the size of the goddamn car. He's gonna, you know, tr he's gonna try and inhale. I mean, good grief. That is... Yeah, that's kind of bigger than him. That is kind of bigger than him. But yeah, I'm happy with that, so we're going to save it. Okay. So. Now, back to the Spectral. Now, thankfully, we don't need to do too much when it comes to the shoes. Just a little bit of a, just a little bit of a, like, up and down shuffle. Just a little bit of an up and down shuffle just to show that, you know, he's really limbering up. He's really getting himself ready to go because, uh, goddamn. 
Okay, now there's that. I remember the situation. So. It's amazing, isn't it, what just a little bit of a tilt can do. Okay, so what we can now do is do the exact same, this time for the shoe in front of us. Actually, no, don't, don't tilt it, don't tilt it, don't tilt it, just... Okay, bring that up to frame number six, right there. And then when it comes to nine... And if we do that, okay, let's see how this looks. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's limbering all right. Duplicate 24 over again. Okay. So, let's see how... Whoa. Okay, I, I told you this. I told you this damn thing was finicky, didn't I? Did say this damn thing was finicky. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's see how that looks right now. Zoom out to about... Yeah, do 100. Okay. I just need to oh yeah that's right do i need to i need to duplicate the uh yes i do i do need to duplicate that what a boob Okay, now let's try that. Now let's try it. Yep, he's certainly limbering up for that stretch, for that, for that inhale. When I open the stream, I expect to see a spectral drawing animation on the side. I d actually should kind of do that, shouldn't I?
Yeah, so instead of having the static, like, happy spectral in the corner, I should, uh, I should have a spectral, like, drawing on the tablet and stuff. Yeah, maybe, yeah, actually, that would be a good idea. You giving Cap ideas, yeah, at least they're, the thing is, at least they are family-friendly ideas. And before you say anything, chat, come on, you've been in my chat long enough, okay? I know what you, some of you think. But yeah, there, there we go. That that Spector is now limbering up, getting ready for his uh, ready for his goddamn inhale. That's awesome. I'm happy with that actually. Now the th now the thing is, when the inhaling starts, we're actually gonna like separate the eyes out. So he's so he's like, Ugh. he's 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 really concentrating in the wrong area. <laughs> He's talking about me, isn't he? Isn't he? Be, to be honest, chat. I'm talking about everyone, okay? You're not the only one who's made dirty jokes in my chat, Bex, okay? You're not the only one. Okay, so. So, so we have a frame twenty four. Now, this is where we're going to introduce these bent arms, I think. So. Okay. First thing first. So we need to put a blank frame, blank frame here. This now makes that particular, that does make that particular layer invisible at this frame. And then what we're going to do is we're going to... Need to get the initial one correct. There we go. We can also. Okay, so remove the keyframe there, so it only appears at frame twenty-one, twenty-seven. There we go. And then we need to come down here to those two side arms. We need to create duplicate frames here and here, but then remove them here and here. So we go from that to that. I oh know, but I'm the one who makes it worse. I, don't, I wouldn't say worse. I wouldn't say worse, Bex. I wouldn't say worse. Okay, and then we're going to do the exact same for the left arm. So, at the left arm, we are going to create a blank frame to get rid of the left arm, but then what we're going to do is we're going to move. That there, slide that into place, but just to make it a little more uniform with the right arm, we bring that up, we bring that up. Go. 
There we go. And then that's just going to... Forgot to do it again. Uh, right. Duplicate. Duplicate. Remove and remove. As I said, I, I wouldn't say you make it worse. But yeah, let's see how jarring that is. It's a little snappy, but it'll get the job done. I mean, if anything, what I could do is leave it at another... Now, because there's already three frames, one, two, and bang. Yeah, I'm more, I'm actually kind of happy with that one. And then... Losing my mind over this one. He's trying to make it look like he's still got his elbow bent, but just not in a way that it makes it look too obvious. I was too lazy to adjust my picture. Uh, scavenger how did you come up with your username interesting question bit of a bit of an interesting history actually well interesting to me i don't know whether it would be you um at the local uh at the local major uh, major brand game store before they shut down uh i used to frequent them quite a lot uh, when they were near me And the old staff that used to work there saw that I was frequenting the place, but they could never remember my name. So one of them uh, nicknamed me Captain. Uh, ju just, you know, it was just off the top of his head. So he was like, hey, up, Captain, you're doing all right? 
he then started learning my name, but everybody had just taken to the name Captain, so they kept it. Uh, that, that that game store then started doing Pokemon tournaments. So this was way back in the day on the 3DS. So like uh, Sun and Moon, X and Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. And the first one of those tournaments, I brought an all-steel team. Like Mega Agron, Mega Mawile, Bronzong, Bastiodon, that kind of thing. And... Uh, Somebody sarcastically said, oh, look, it's Captain Steel. And it's and it just stuck ever since because it was a fucking kick-ass name. It was then the moniker that I took forward with uh, my pseudo kind of not really competitive Smash Brothers career. And everybody knew me as Captain Steel, the DDD player. The bronze on the accelerates energy. No, no, no. Video games. Video games. That's the, the bronze on was in video games. Because you've got to remember, I've been playing both video games and the trading card game for a long time now. So, uh, it, so, uh, yeah, that's why I said uh, it was on the 3DS. So, uh, old Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, the Sun and Moon, etc. Oh, but Jesus, an hour and ten, really? Huh. Okay, well, I'm at least going to make a decision on the... Yeah, I'm at least going to make a decision. Here's, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a decision on the... Uh... I'm going to make a decision on this arm. I must admit, I kind of like the... Uh, I kind of like the cocky eyebrow wiggle. Don't know why, it kind of reminds me of Dr. Wily. <laughs> I don't know, something actually, I kind of like that. And, and it's only because, uh, and it is truly only because, I've been talking and have been able to uh, look at it from afar. So if we go from tw yeah, if we go from where we've just stopped to twenty four, yeah. Surely you're jesting, but thank you, thank you so much. And this is a this is supposed to be a nice chill stream. So I so if you've noticed that the volume was turned down quite a bit, you know why. I will turn it up, of course, for when we get back to Final Fantasy VII and some and stuff on the Wednesday. But uh, for the nice chill stream, I've turned down the uh, I did turn down all of the uh, the sound alerts and the desktop audio and stuff. At least I think I did. Hope I bloody did. Yes, I did. I am bringing it over to 36. Duplicate over to 36. And duplicate over, over to 36. Said over to 36, you clown. There you go. What about the 379 in username? Are you able to share the origin of that? I am. But I'm not going to tell you exactly what it stands for. All I'll give you... I'm going to give you a bit of a hint. Okay, I'll give you a bit of a hint what the 379 stands for. And all I will do, chat, is tell you to consult your national Pokedex. Yes, consult your national Pokedex and the answer becomes very clear. I really do like that, actually. This, <laughs> I found it. Did you scavenger? So what does the 379 stand for?
Registeel, Exacta Mundo. That's exactly it. Registeel has always been one of my absolute favorite steel type Pokemon. I mean, I've always been a big fan of all six of the Reg. Well, I say all six of the Regis because Reggie Alaki and Reggie Drago are extremely recent. But, uh. But yeah, I've always been a big fan of the Regis. Always been a big fan of the Regis. It's just a shame that they're not spectacular and that it took Galarian Weezing to make Reggie Gigas good. I mean, for f I mean, <sighs> chat, you know how heartbroken I was, okay? You know how heartbroken I was when um, we caught Reggie Gigas in Legends Arceus and he still had slow start. That hurt my soul. <laughs> That hurt my soul. And then, and then, um, and then one more cute little, uh, cute little backstory bit. Um, it was during my, it was during my competitive Smash Brothers days that, um, I was known for. Sorry, I don't know why that spike suddenly. There, I do apologize. I was known for throwing out my forward smashes in neutral. Oh, the times they've changed. But uh, I was known for throwing out my F smashes in neutral. And for, and one of my friends who was in the same Smash Brothers group as I was, to which I still have the hoodie, it's 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 coming up to like eight years old, and it really does show with the uh, with the waist pant size. But uh, but uh, yeah, this was during the Wii U days. Okay, so you know not the most competitively be best Smash Brothers, but. It's back in the Wii U days, and um, I landed this amazingly clutch forward smash against somebody, and I just heard, I heard one of my friends shout, "Feel the steel," and to be quite fair, that's exactly, and th that's where it came from. You made him feel the steel, and it's like, huh, you know what? That's actually a pretty decent catchphrase. So I wish I could say that I was clever enough to be my own marketing department when it came to some of these things. But I'm really not. It was just happenstance. It was just goofy. It was just goofy happenstance and coincidence that uh, some of the stuff that you know me for came from other people. I hope that doesn't lessen the value, lessen the value of it or anything. I really hope it doesn't. Right then. So let's slow this down to about eight, seventy-five percent speed, and let's see this entire animation so far as it is. Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Right, go back to the beginning and try again. Hmm. I wonder if we could get away with, like, doubling the length of that. Hmm, maybe. Maybe I could. So yeah, double that up to 48 frames. What the, what the hell? I don't know what I've done. Okay, I really don't know what I've done. Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay, that's better. Thank you. I thought I screwed up my UI there for a second. Maybe not double it, but like do another. But yeah, take all of this and then move. Hmm, maybe, 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 maybe. But I'll, I'll do that in my own time. I will do that in my own time. Because, um... That is going to be the end... That's going to be the end of the stream, I'm afraid, guys. It might come from others, but you have made it your own. No, that's right. That's true, I have, actually. Hmm. 
That is true. I have. I have. Love this art stream. Well, I've loved having you both here. Well, I, have, I say both. I've, I've loved having everybody here. So, again, everybody, thank you very much. I am going to run a quick one-minute advertisement, okay? I am going to run a quick one-minute advertisement. When we come back from, uh, uh, from the uh, advertisement, I am going to... I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to talk about what's happening over the next couple of days. So, uh, yeah, I will see you in a minute. Okay then, for those of you who do not get advertisements, thank you so much for, uh, thank you so much for, um, for being here. I know this is a very, very far cry from the sort of streams we usually do, but, um, it's been, it's been nice. It has genuinely been extremely nice to, uh, just have a really nice, chilled stream. And I will be saying this again when the advertisements are over. You know, no critical hit worrying about, no Smash Brothers getting super pissed off at, just a nice, relaxing art stream showing my animation process. It's not much of a process, but hell, it, it's a process. It's a process. But, uh, but no, thank you all so much for being here. It's been, it, it's been grand. Okay, then, we should be back from advertisements. Thank you all very, very much. Uh, oh, uh, love this art stream. Thank you very much, Scavenger. Same, it's cozy and enjoyable. Thank you very much, Bex. So, the next art stream is when? I don't know. As I said, I'm going to try and work on the... Uh, I'm going to try and work on this a little bit more on my uh, on my own time. Uh what I need to what I need to do is stop practicing Smash Brothers, and I need to uh, I need to set my backside down and actually do some of this animation work. Excuse me. But uh, yeah, that's exactly what I need to do. I need to sit my butt down and do some animation work. So I d I intend to do that a little bit more in my off time. But what I will say is, while ever, okay, while ever. Uh, we don't, whatever this animation is ongoing, I will dedicate the Mondays that we would usually be playing Kirby to this animation. And, uh, showing you, like, the, um, what's the one looking for? And showing you the process, showing you all the little bits and pieces, even the very minor adjustments that I make to, that I make to the model. Because you've got to remember... Even making slight adjustments to the arms, make them look like they're swinging from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. Yo. Sorry, that was that was that was uh, that was a bit forced. I do apologize, but uh... but yeah, I can. I think uh, I think while ever we're waiting on the animation to be done for Kirby in the Forgotten Land, I'm going to turn Mondays into art streams, and then whenever whenever there's a day that I feel like you know, or, or project that I want to get done. We can dedicate a couple of days during that week to art, because as I said, I would love to get more Spector Smash Brothers fighters done. I would love to get more Spector Smash Brothers fighters done. Especially for some of the characters that I enjoy playing, as well as getting an animation finished for, specifically, Banjo Kazooie speedrunning, because I did promise before the end of before the end of the year, even if I have to clear the screen completely. Uh, well, I say clear the screen completely. Even if I have to use the single player uh, stream setup, um, with just a clock in the top top right hand corner, I am going to be speedrunning Banjo Kazooie at some point. But I would like to get my own animation done for that one. So, like, have a rareware inspired, uh, or have TT the clock. Either I either have TT the clock from, Don from Diddy Kong Racing, 
or I have a rareware inspired clock, you know, the big googly eyes. Um, accosting Spector and Kazooie. Specto and Kazooie. Because <laughs> I have had a couple of sketches in the past where I thought about doing, uh, where I thought about doing Banjo Kazooie. But I just have not had the time or patience, really. And, and it's not even so much about the animation work itself. It's getting all the assets ready to animate. That's the, that's the key thing. So, uh, yeah, to answer the question... Have a rotten day. Thank you very much, scavenger. But, uh, yeah, to answer, to answer your question, while ever... Uh, while ever this animation is not, uh, not ready to... Not ready to go... We will dedicate the Mondays that would be for Kirby to the animation. And then when the animation is done, I if it's in my off time, if it's in my off time, I will upload the uh the I'll upload the finished GIF to the animation archive um after the first Kirby in the Forgotten Land stream, and we'll just go straight into Kirby in the Forgotten Land. But if it's finished during one of these streams. We just cut the stream, we have a nice relaxed night, and then the following week we begin Kirby in the Forgotten Land. So th that's, the, that's the plan moving forward. That's the plan moving forward. Until the animation is finished, art streams every Monday, and then if, uh, for whatever reason, you know, you guys have enjoyed this art stream, um, maybe we could do a couple more in the future where I could work on more Spector Smash Brothers fighters, or I could uh, start work on the next big, big project for for October, which would be the Pikmin animation. Also, what do you think to my flowers? Um, I, I kind of took inspiration for this whole building from the cover of Kirby and the Forgotten Land, if you've seen the front cover, where you've got the skyscraper, like, overgrown with uh, wilderness and uh, wilderness and flowers and stuff. But if you look at the petals of this pink flower, white, blue, pink, transference, baby. Oh, yeah. Every single day, goddamn LGBTQ plus right here on this damn channel. Love the flowers. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have I actually got a big version of this thing? No, I don't. Uh, unless they're here. Yes, I do. I've actually got bigger versions of the flowers right there. There you go. That is what they look like. Before they got shrunk down and obliterated to, pic to pixels on pixels. And don't forget, if you are a follower of the channel, there, there you go. Thank you very much, Bex. Pride Spector all the goddamn way. And then when we start the uh, inhale, we've got uh, two frames that we're gonna like jump. That we're gonna jump between being invisible and visible. But yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. Right then, chat. That is genuinely going to be it. For today. Again, a big thank you, and I do understand this has been like a major, major change of pace. I understand this has been a complete change of pace compared to what we usually do, whether that's something as, uh, you know, strategic as PTCGL, whether that is as uh, action packed as Smash Brothers, well, more like salt packed as Smash Brothers after last week, um, or whether that is as heartbreakingly, soul shatteringly RNG dependent as the leaf green nuzlocke Ooh, i do promise okay because i know i broke and twisted and snapped those rules in half okay i do promise that the next time we do a, a nuzlocke we are keeping to every single rule no exception okay and the fact and the, and the do you want to know the unfortunate thing chat the unfortunate thing is the hope hog has never had a technical issue 
it, it's it's God knows how old now, and it's never ever ever had a technical issue. So uh, that's not likely to change anytime soon, which means the GameCube itself, which is what I put the uh, which which is what I put the uh, Game Boy Advance games through. Yeah, there's no there's no uh, no denying there's no denying that uh, I can't get away. Okay, I can't get away with claiming his technical issues this uh, this time. <laughs> so yeah, next no the next Nuzlocke we do, it will be uh, it will follow the rules. But uh, yeah, I'm just saying thank you very much for uh, thank you very much for sticking around through all of my like tangents, through all of my um, well, just the fact that this has been a complete change of pace. Thank you all very, very much. And if my voice is that calming and soothing and cozy and everything else for everybody, maybe I should look into doing some ASMR stuff. I hear that uh, places like Reddit or whatever do um, do like uh, royalty... F I won't say royalty free, obviously you still need to credit the writer, but uh, I hear that there are some like um, open scripts that you can read. So if... Uh, if people are interested in that, what do you think? <laughs> but that won't be for a while. That's not going to be for a while. I need to get more comfortable with my own damn voice on this microphone. And, you know, you would have thought I would have been so after a year, but I still think I would sound like a chipmunk getting gassed out with helium. Specifically with helium. <laughs> but anyway, chat. I am now going to, uh, I'm not going to go and rest. Thank you all so, so much for being part of tonight's stream. It really has meant the world to me, especially with it being, as I say, a complete change of pace compared to what we usually do. We had this in therapy, and it's so, so good. So story time with Cap soon. Nice, I'll most likely fall asleep. Well, that's very, that, that is very kind of you, Bex. That's very kind of you. Right then. Right, I better get going before I go off into another tangent. Chat, have yourself a wonderful night. Please take care of yourself. Stay cool in this heat. Stay hydrated. And I'll do an ASMR version of... I'll do an ASMR version of the, uh... Of the usual sign-off. So, chat. When life gives you garbage, grab life by the throat. And you make it feel the steel make it feel the steel i will see you on wednesday for final fantasy 7 chat you have yourself a wonderful wonderful evening please take care of yourselves bye bye Some people try and eat their headphones and it picks up on the mic. How did it sound then? How did that sound? I mean, did I do okay? Oh, darn it, I got caught up with another tangent again, didn't I? Rats. That sounded great. I'm glad to hear it. Right, now I really do need to go. Look after yourselves, chat. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.